What is up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny, BadBet35 channel. I hope everyone had a great week. But it's back to the weekend again. Back to do some stuff to the cars. So today I'm just gonna wash my car before I start working on the quarter panels. Because on Saturday there's a Cars and Coffee that I wanna go to. I've never been to a Cars and Coffee before. So there's one on Saturday and there's also one on Sunday. But since Sunday is raining and I got the louvers on my hood, I, I don't matter driving the, uh, on the rain. So I'm gonna wash it. Uh, you guys will come with me as, as I'm washing the car and um, see the way I, I wash my car normally. Um, guys, I wanna thank a lot um, those people that subscribe to subscribe. That, 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 that. I wanna thank the people that subscribe to my channel. Uh, I greatly appreciate you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the car community. Um, like I said earlier, I love every type of car it is. Um, but enough of that. Let's go back. Let me give you guys a cold start and we start washing the car. And see, um, you guys will come and see the process that I do to wash the car. to wash my car but I'm gonna show you the steps that I normally do for my car now you ask why is the hood half open well I'm gonna I have these louvers that I bought from track spec like I want to say three three years ago and best investment ever yeah actually works you actually see the, the heat of the engine I'm coming to actually the steam and stuff like that from the from the engine coming out of the louvers and my temperatures has been like a little lower than, than what it normally be without the, the cutouts of the hood yes you have to cut the hood to put these louvers on but I love it extremely if I had to do it again I do it all over again this the same way um, let me show you guys how it is the louvers so as you can see that's my lures for the engine so normally people put this more down here and these stays almost the same but i like it like all straight to, uh, together so i the best bang for your buck it's from trash pack. badass i love it so now you ask why is the hood open so So because I have the louvers, I need to, for me, I'm picky. People normally wash their cars and they don't really care that much if the water goes inside the engine. But for me, it bothers me a lot. So as much as I love it, so what I normally do is I grab a bag, like those Husky bags that they sell at Home Depot, and I, and I cover my engine. So let me show you guys my process of how I do it. So what I do is, I'm going to put the bag over it right now. And some of you guys might say, yo, Danny, that's kind of overkill. But to be honest, I enjoy doing stuff like this, like washing my car. So for me, this is uh, therapeutic. So that's why I spell therapeutic. Because, yeah. I'm going to hit that. 
nicely covered now what I do is I close the hood like normal and I uh, start washing the car so guys let me just show you my bucket system after this right now and we go do the process so I have a three bucket system that I use so the small blue bucket is for my wheels one for the wash and one for the rinse so and I got each one has their own grip guard the the one for the wash and rinse at the own grid guard so the blue normally for the wash and the red i use it for the for the rinse and then for the wheels i use assortment brushes i use this one for the wheel wells i use this one for the lug nuts i use this one it's like a like a hand mitt so you can wash so you can see the the the, the spokes on your rims and then the look like Kermit the the spokes of your rims and the back of the rims I use this one for inside the rims so all nice and, nice and around and then I use this one for the tires like I said I do like a crazy process but I enjoy doing it all the time so and then the product I normally use is either Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner or if the wheels are very very dirty then I like to use the, the, the heavy duty cleaner from Griot's but since I always wash my wheels I barely use this one at all so the, the most common one I use is the Meguiar's one awesome product I even do my exhaust tips with this one so and I, like I said I love Griot's products so I also use some um, Griot's car wash and believe it or not I still use my Griot's bone sprayer and their, their gun so just a note well, after a year of owning this almost a year yeah so the little filter you have it in the inside of it let me show you real quick to so the filter that you have it inside of it I clean it all the time after I do every wash so like that when I do a, a ne the next wash I don't have to clean it or anything I clean all this stuff after I do my my wash I clean everything so like that when I want to do my next wash I don't need to clean, clean the buckets move this move that everything's good to go so Let's uh, turn on the water and let's clean the, the rim. So I have a process. I like to do my rims first and then the body of the car. So when I do the body of the car, I have two towels. So this one is for the top half of the car. And then for the lower half that is very dirty, I use this one right here. So it has a little grip thing on the back of it. And then before I put it back into the wash bucket, I rinse it. I rub it like this to, to the grid guard. I rinse in the wash uh, bucket and then back on the car goes. The good thing about having a grid guard at it, you have all the garbage and everything, all the little debris and stuff underneath the bucket so it doesn't resurface back to the top again. So you're not grabbing it and passing on your car. So let's uh, take you, I'm going to show you how I do one wheel and then um, we go through the process for the rest of the car. Alright guys, let me give you, let me set you up. So what I like to do, I like to do a tire at a time. So what I normally do is rinse the wheel first and the wheel well. I never spray any no product on my on my wheels dry. I always put the wheels first and everything. Then I use the Meguiar's and then I go just I go always go from the top to bottom on the inside first. The reason why I do from top to bottom is that I have I let gravity run its course. A little bit of wheel wheel and that's it. I use this brush first, my wheel wheel brush. Rinse it, I go inside the wheel wheel. I know it sounds like I'm beating the shit out of it, but I'm, you know, I really am not. I 
after I've done that, I'll put it right back inside the bucket. I'll grab my um, my lug nut, wash it, do my lug nuts, and I do the stem next, right up here. This is, that's the hardest to reach area. After I do that, I rinse it real quick. After I rinse it, goes back in the bucket. Now I grab my my rim brush. This one right here. I rinse the brush. Some people like to put some product in it, but it's already got it, but just for the show purposes. And I always, like I said, I always start from the top to the bottom. And now the reason why I like this brush is because I could go on the back of the caliper. That's kind of hard to get to. Like I said, you know, if you think I could do like a, a different way, everybody got their own way of doing it. So, but I'm always open to new suggestions. Hey, Danny, try this, try that, and the other. You know, have you tried this product? Have you tried the other product? So you leave your comments. You know, I read them. So honestly, you know, it's uh, it's not like um, I, I got young people also watching my channel. So as long as it's like no curse words and stuff like that, you know, I'm I'm cool with it. I know curse words and I said shit earlier. So, but you know what I mean. Nobody's perfect. So after I do that, I rinse this next. Again, just to get the old soap and dirt off. Put it back in the bucket. I use my tire, my tire thing. You spray some on it. And then That, rinse this again and I usually take more more of my time but just for the video purpose I thought I'm going pretty quick but I like to take my time doing this stuff then I use my hand mitt my little Kermit mitt just put it on if you can Kermit hands rinse it and then Go in. You can use also you can use a rag, you don't need to really have this. It's, I like this because I could go behind the spokes. So and I, I rub my hand to the grip guard and go back at it again. I love these rims. I know they're pain in the butt to clean and to maintain, but really really love this ring that's it rings <laughs> I meant rims so after I'm done with that I rinse my current glove take it off and then rinse my wheel so I should always start from the wheel well Inside the rim. People hike on me on the side. Hey, Danny, you're not, you know, why you clean that inside the rim? Nobody's gonna see that, but you know what? To reach their own. I mean, you wash your car your way, I wash my car my way, you know. That is just to be about being a car enthusiast. You can wash the car whatever way you, you feel like that, that makes you happy. So. And that's it so i'm gonna repeat the process to the other three rims and tires and um i'll get back to you guys when i do the body all right all right so i'm done doing my wheels now i'm gonna wash the car but the first the first step i like to do is like to rinse down my car take whatever debris is already on it and take it off and then i do the 
I use the, the grills right after. But it's a process of me using the grills. I'll show you what, what's my process. So the first has to be down the car. So what I like to use, I like to use the real foam cannon. Ah, no, damn it, I said it wrong. Foaming sprayer, yeah. On the car, let it drip down a little bit. And then after it drips down, I take all the debris off, I rinse it, and then I use the two bucket system. So let's go with that next. I guess I'm gonna let it settle for a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna rinse it off. Then do the, the two bucket system. Now the reason why I use the pressure wash and I'm using this because it's easier so for somebody to buy uh, the Griot's foam uh, sprayer than to get a, 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 a pressure washer, then the foam cannon and all that. So I try to make it easier that an everyday person can do at home. You don't have to take it to a to a to a shop to do a detail and everything when you could do it yourself at home. So that's the one of the reasons why I'm using the, the foaming sprayer. I said it right this time. Bang, bang. All right, guys. So I'm going to wait so it drips down a little bit. And the reason why I let it drip, drip down is because whatever dirt and debris will catch it on the suds and it will bring it down. Then you rinse it and then you use a two bucket system. When you're using two bucket system, you're not introducing new dirt that's already on the car. 
and you're not smudging it all around. That's why I just do this step, I rinse it, and then I put the the soap in the bucket and the two bucket system. So let me wait for a little bit and I'll get back to you guys in a minute. Alright guys, so I let it down, put it down for at least like four or five minutes. Now I'm gonna rinse it off. Really rinse it off, don't just a little water, okay, I'm done. No, really rinse the whole thing off. You don't want to smudge that dirt back on the car again. Just get rid of everything, take your time. Nobody's rushing you. It's gonna be a beautiful weekend. Okay, so let's go with the two buckets. This one, I like to use it on the top of the car. Just glide it, you don't have to go crazy. Here come when I, when I use the other one for the bottom half of the car. Every same one for the back of the car. I don't know why the back of the car always gets more and more dirty than the, than the front or the sides, but I use this one as well for the back of the car. So let's go back there real quick. So I like to do one side at a time. Like if I'm working on this side, I'm going to work on this side of the car. Then I'm going to move to the other side. I rinse it, and then I work to the other side. I go here, and then I do the whole front. Work one section at a time. You don't need to do a go all crazy. Try to do the whole car. Try to be time. Remember, we're not in a rush. So we'll have fun with this. Okay. Now we rinse one section and you repeat the same process on the other one. So let me finish um, the other side. I rinse this, finish the other side. I'm going to get back to you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So we're ready to rinse the car down. Now you're asking me. Danny, what the hell are you doing with a leaf blower? Don't judge me. This is my OCD speaking right now, okay? Do not judge me. So, instead of drying the car with the car fully wet, I like to blow the... No pun intended, just in case you guys said the word blow. Don't mess with me. The, the water off, and then I'll dry it right after that. So, let's, let's get to work. Now, don't laugh at me. I know you guys are you're laughing behind the, the screen. I see you guys watching.
the with the leaf blower. The, there's a process that I use. I have three drying, two drying, uh, drying towels, and one fluffy towel. Now I use I use one to dry, obviously. The other one to buff off. But in between both of them, I'm gonna use the the Griot's spray and wax. Uh, it gives it like a little extra protection with the with the waxing part. And to me, I believe that, that it actually works. So let me show you how I do one panel. And um, you guys can probably do the same thing on your course. So put it in my back pocket because I like to pull this stuff this way. So I always like to drive from the from the top of the roof down, but to show you purposes right now, I'll go the other way around. So, shake your product. Always shake your product, you know, get all the chemicals back in together. A little fuzzy. All right, so. So I spray like that, then I start drying. I do one pedal at a time. Whenever this towel feels wet, then it comes the other towel that I use. So the black towel I bought it at Walmart, but these two towels I bought at Griot's at Corvette Cola. So I bought these over there. Awesomest towel ever. So let me buff this fender off, and I'll show you guys the difference. Got the black towel that's for the, for the buffing part. That straggler fell on the floor, I can't use it. Please, guys, if a towel falls on the floor, don't use it. Grab another towel. You don't want to introduce stuff, dirty stuff from the floor into your car after you wash it. That's how you get scratches. And you just buff it off. I like it. To me, it leaves like a good shine to it. What I'm gonna learn is how to um, use a buffing machine and use the correcting pads and everything and stuff like that. I never used that before. I don't know how to use it. But since I'm gonna be facing the rear quarter panel anyway, so I better practice on that. So let me bring you guys in. I can show you the shine real quick. I'll leave this in my back pocket. So let me bring you guys in. So, to me, that product leaves a good shine. You can see my reflection on it. Peace. Oh wait, that's my fingers. Ah, peace. Mm. But, so that's the process I normally do for drying my car. I blow it with a uh, with a leaf blower. I dry it with two towels, and then I buff it off with the with the black towel. It's like a nice soft towel. I like it. So. So let me um, let me set you guys back down here. A nice angle. Never mind about that van. It's dead. Well, as a matter of fact, we don't want to see it. Skirt. All right. So guys, this is the process I do for washing my car. Uh, I want to thank you guys. I want to thank you for the new subscribers that I that I recently got. You know. Uh, hit that thumbs up because it starts to help the channel. So I'm starting to get you know Notice different things algorithms. Don't, spell, don't ask me how to spell that. I have no idea But and I'm learning new things how to edit videos and stuff like that that my kids are helping me So, you know, this old man So um guys, I'm gonna say um Happy birthday to my oldest Because he's walking away. Hold on He's walking there. Yo, turn around my big boy is going to be 17 years old. He stole my hair. So, dude, why are you walking like that? Like, walk never mind, back. never mind, guys. I'm going to give him a wake. Yeah, so, whoever wants. <laughs> so, 
guys i want to thank you guys for everything please subscribe if you're new to the channel thanks for watching hit that thumbs up button and uh i'm gonna show you uh uh come up with another probably midweek when i go to cars and coffee all right guys peace